you, Carolyn Medeiros Cranston, the Executive Director of the Alliance to Save Communities. I want to thank the City Council, Mayor Fong, for the introduction on this ordinance and hope to see you follow through. The Alliance is known for lobbying tough crime bills and victim advocacy for voices that aren't heard in our state. Elder abuse, neglect, sexual assault in residential living or in nursing homes. Domestic violence, murder victims who no longer have a voice but I stand by their families and fight the fight, do the vigils and make sure the paroles are denied. Um, pedophiles, murderers, the sentencing on them and how long they'll stay in there. We're not afraid of the Alliance to be at Smith Hill fighting bills and having the ACLU, the Public Defender's Office, and the Trial Lawyers Association, Association threatening to sue us. We take on the toughest bills, and we speak for those who don't have voices. And the ones right now, in regards to this audience, who don't have voices, are those who are trying to navigate through traffic, who could very easily get in an accident, who could hit one of these individuals loitering in an intersection or exit ramp. And their whole life will spiral downward as they know it. They will lose their house, their car, and everything if they hurt or kill this person. There's no need for this. And now an incremental step needs to be taken through this ordinance to intervene. Because the multi-million dollar nonprofits that run these programs and throw their clients on the streets are the ones that need to be addressed. And this has been going on year after year after year. We throw the money at them and there's no accountability. And you want to talk cost? $200,000 last year for fire and rescue runs on Harrington Hall? That was on the Cranston taxpayers. $55,000 in the last four months? Fire and rescue runs doesn't include police supervision. So you know what? This needs to get done, and it needs to protect those who don't have a voice here that you're representing tonight. I sure wish I had this crowd with me when I'm defending elderly and children from pedophiles and victims of murder and domestic violence. But I don't see that. Once again, it's not unfamiliar for me to stand alone. But I get the job done. And I think you're going to get the job done. Mayor Fong, my street's been plowed. Looks great. <laughs> and it's a tough neighborhood, so kudos. And the law enforcement, they're there for us. And it's a tough neighborhood. Thank you.